Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. Alright, still in Crescent Lake here. Managed to find Lucan and his colleagues here in Crescent Lake. They were hidden off in the bushes, so yeah. And for speaking to them, we actually they actually gave us a canoe, which has already been proven useful. Along with allowing us to do a few other things if we would like to, which I uh, demonstrated, uh, I showed in the last episode. But in any case, it is time that we go searching for the Gurgu Volcano. However, yeah, and I also did some extra shopping as well since we had the gold for it. And yeah, so there we go. And with that, we are not quite done here. Considering where we're going, I actually would not say it's a bad idea to max out your heal potions at 99. So let's buy four more here. Take it up to 99. This also gives us give me an opportunity to show you what happens when you try to buy more than 99 of an item. And yeah, it just tells you you can't carry any more and you can't buy any more until you uh until there's room. So yeah. Alright, with that under our belt, let's go searching for Gurgu Volcanoes. Let's take a look at our map. See if we can't map out a route. Alright, so there's Crescent Lake. Yeah, it looks like take the uh the river around the lake, uh, north of the lake. And take the north path, and looks like there might be a couple of paths we can take on our route there, and hopefully uh, they aren't dead ends. At least one of them, at least not being a dead end, so I guess we'll uh, so you just take it west, and we should get there. Alright, let's go. So yeah, there are new fiends in the rivers, so we'll take care of them as they come up. And here's the first one, the Caribbean. The Caribbean have 92 HP, 44 attack, 0 defense, 34 magic defense, weak to thunder, resistant to fire and earth, just like the uh, the sea creatures. So yeah, let's just take them out two at a time, just because of how much HP they got, you know. Oh, that's a, and yeah, if, uh, oh wow, I actually put Luke down there. All right, well, <laughs> all right, guess I must have uh, moved down one spot further than I was expecting. You know what? That went so well. You know what? No, let's play it safe. Try to ensure that we at least take out two of them, you know? Yeah, that's why. But Luke and Matt got some good hits last round. I was like, yeah! It's great to see! But, uh, yeah. No offense to them. No slight against them. Yeah quite strong enough to be able to uh, take one on each, you know? Alright. Uh, and yeah, let's let's take care of our cure spells first. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna leave it as is for now. Oh no, I better not. <laughs> that's, uh, uh, no, that's, that's fine. Alright, just the one. Let's take the north path. We saw on the map. And here's the fork in the river. Well, a couple more caribou there, but yeah, we got two paths here. Which one do we take? Well, the path straight north is a dead end, so let's take the uh, east path. And let's go west. And here's two other ones, the Hydra and the Ocho. Also known in later games and in remakes or remasters of this game, the Ocho. Yeah, the Ocho has been a long standing staple of the Final Fantasy, going back all the way to Final Fantasy 1. I, I used to think this was a sea creature because we fought it in the sea, but yeah, it's straight up a plant creature. So, anyways, a very big plant creature, so yeah, it's probably just got its roots down in the the, 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 the water, but anyways. Alright, so the Hydra has 212 HP, 60 attack, 60 attack, can hit three times, 14 defense, 58 magic defense, not weak to anything, so yeah, not weak to thunder. No resistances though, and uh, nothing special about it. The Ocho though has 208 HP with 40 attack. He can hit three times, 24 defense, 58 magic defense, weak to thunder, resistant to fire and earth, and its physical attack can poison us. So let's uh, take it out first. Send everybody at it, and hopefully we can take it out one round. Relatively weak hit from Mark there, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be. Eh. Didn't get any crits out of those hits, so yeah. That might 
explain why it was such a weak hit. But, yeah. Take out the status ailment. And then we can remove the status ailment. <laughs> Alright, one down. Unpoisoned. Yeah, yeah. Methodology I've uh, gone with in these, you know, removing poison in battle kind of thing. I usually go with if Mark's poison, the one with the usually go with the people that have, a high, have the highest HP first because it takes out the most HP per round kind of thing. So yeah, but we were victorious in that battle. All right, let's, uh, there's a few more cures here. And more. Wow, Luke's taking a beating today. All right, well, he's, uh, he's hanging in there, so. Glad to have him. If that's the right thing to say. <laughs> it was John's turn to hit, take hit in that battle. <laughs> 89 hit from uh, the Hydra there. Yowch. All right, uh, you know what? No, we're not using that. Let's, uh... Well, we're almost there. Let's see what happens. Just familiar creatures around the uh, on the land here, and there was one more monster you could have run into in the rivers, but we've got time <laughs> to get it. Uh, it's probably yeah, it's definitely eh. it hits hard, but it's not the strongest. It doesn't have the strongest potential. But anyways, all right, here we are. So let's see. Uh, let's use. Do I want to use the house now or wait for it? Um, you know what? I better use the house. Just to get our spells back. Use a tent to, to save it. Alright. How close are we to 15? Oh, wow. That actually hit into a lot of it. Alright. Let's check this place out. Mm. Gotta admit, the music's kind of a, a bop, but anyways. All right, here we are. There, Grugu Volcano. Top floor here. There's only one new fiend we can run into, but it's uh, pretty uh, standard throughout, I think, so don't have to worry about running into it here. But this is indeed the first dungeon that features damage floors. Guess what this stuff is? Yeah, so each step we take on it uh, reduces everybody's HP by one. So, yeah. Which could be a good thing in some situations. Because you cannot run into battles on the lava. So, oh boy, here we go. All right, so this floor, what's going to be happening with the Gurgu Volcano here? It is going to take a minimum of two runs. This first run is going to be all about clearing out this floor of the treasure, because there is a lot of it here. So, yeah, and there's lots of, lots of chances to run into fixed encounters and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, after we clear out this floor, we're probably going to have to, we're probably going to have to go back and restock on items. So, yeah, let's uh, well, let's see what happens, and uh, we'll uh, cross that bridge when we get to it. So, all right. So this first door here, uh, I believe it, it does lead into where we need to go, but uh, it's uh, not the quickest way. So let's just head over here and take this next door. All right. Kind of glad we got this out of the way immediately because the R goyles, the red gargoyles. They have 94 HP, 20 attack, but they can hit four times, just like their, their uh, weaker counterparts. 32 defense, 64 magic defense. They are not weak to anything. They are resistant to fire, ice, and earth, so if you recall, they're kind of like, I guess you could say they're kind of like the uh, the wizards of this place, but considerably more dangerous. Uh, they are not uh, weak, resistant, resistant to thunder, so that could be an option, but personally, I would run from these guys as soon as you can every time you run into them. Why? Because of what they cast. These are the monsters that got nerfed in the PlayStation 1 remake and so on. These guys can, each of them can cast Fire 2. Three of these guys casting Fire 2 in one round could very well wipe us all out. If not all of us, maybe Mark will survive, but yeah, these guys are deadly. You do not want to mess with them at all. And to be quite honest, um, do I want to use a thunder? The thing is, they've got 94 HP, so I'm not even confident that the Lightning 2 spell will be able to kill any of them. So, 
Yeah, uh, let's go run, run. Do I want to do use the anti-fire spell or do I want to... You know what, considering how much damage Fire 2 does, let's use it. Okay, we didn't have to worry about it. Phew. Yeah, those guys, until we get protection against fire, like, uh, you know, permanent protection, they are not worth it. Even with the anti-fire up, I mean, that reduces the Fire 2 damage to around 30, but still, three... That's 30 hits for each party member per Red Gargoyle, so that's 90 HP that those three spells would take out of us. So, yeah. Very deadly, and the number one reason why you, why you might want to consider the other options. But like I said, I plan on going through this legit, so let's do this. Let's go in here, and alright, so we're going to have a fixed encounter here with another new monster, so let's check it out. This is the Fire Elemental. The Fire Elemental has 276 HP, 100 attack, 20 defense, 65 magic defense, weak to ice, uh, kind of like its fire, its uh, earth elemental counterpart, uh, resistant to everything else pretty much, uh, not resistant to thunder though, so if you happen to have somebody with ice and uh, only one with ice and somebody with thunder separate, it might be an option I guess, but yeah. Other than that, just like the earth elementals, they just, they just try to beat you into the ground, so yeah. All right, so let's just take everybody, send everybody at one, use a ruse spell so John can hopefully uh, mitigate as much damage on him as possible. And let's do this. Ow. Ow! Yeah, these guys are stronger than the uh, their counterparts, so... <laughs> Gotta be careful. Um, how many am I gonna have to worry about? One, two, two, three, two... I might be able to get away with using a, a cure spell here. You can run into these guys as random encounters as well, but it's the rare encounter. It's like 1 in 64 chance, so... Odds are in your favor as far as not having to run into them other than in fixed encounters, but there's always that chance. And, ooh, nice, nice experience, nice gold. And they were guarding more gold. Less than what was in the Earth Cave, I believe, though, but still. Alright, let's, uh, yeah, let's... I don't want to go too nuts with John's spell charges, because we do want those Ruse spells. So we got fixed encounters against fire elementals. Alright, let's... <laughs> that's all the, the cure spells. Uh, wait. Hmm. Yes, I guess I probably should have done the cure two spells first. Oh, well. In that case, let's use a heal potion and we'll, uh... I'm definitely expecting to have to use the Cure 2 spells at some point anyway, so... Alright, got the gold out of here, right? Alright. Next, treasure chest. I'm actually going to be trying to avoid as many fixed encounters as I can. Uh... But really, only if it actually cuts into travel time kind of thing. So, yeah, if it's... if I get, like, this one... Alright! <laughs> Yes, I shouldn't have used that Cure Spell of John's because I forgot about the Peds. I ran into four of them in that battle. Use the Ice 2 spell with Luke there to help soften them up, and then John used a Ruse to protect himself, so yeah. Alright, Mark and Matt got poison, so let's get that off them, and yeah, let's get Cure 2 ready to go. And as you saw there, yeah, we are at level 15 as well, so. Uh, let's see. One for you. Let's uh, use heals for the rest. So yeah, I believe the, uh, if I didn't mention before, Cure 2s are roughly about uh, double the strength of the Cure 1 spell, so yeah. Alright, let's uh, swap everybody around and I'll finish my thought from before that battle. <laughs> so yeah, in the case of this chest up here, I believe you can get into a fixed encounter with the uh, Fire ele Elementals in front of it, but it's quicker just to go in here. Silver helmet, and the path this way is actually quicker than going around the, the below it. So yeah, and that first door there that we saw when we came on this floor, yeah, that just leads up there, kind of thing. So yeah, another treasure chest we going after this way. And here's another new enemy, the Red Hydra. All right, the Red Hydra has 182 HP. 20 attack with can hit three times 14 defense 52 magic defense they are weak to ice 
resistant to fire and they can use an AoE fire as well, but it is weaker than fire too, so really I'd probably just say go all out and you should be able to take it out without too much hassle. The attack it can use is called cremate, so yeah. I feel like it's... If my memory isn't um, um, failing me on this, I believe it's pretty much about as strong as a, uh, a strong fire one spell on the entire party, so yeah. Definitely nowhere near as strong as fire two, though. All right, that was another close call of five red gargoyles in there. So yeah, managed to get run to run as soon as we got in there. I think we might have actually gotten a chance of first strike as the first person that tried to run ran. So yeah, but uh, so far so good. All right, another fire elemental here, so we'll have to fight it and be right back. All right, and we got a giant sword. Another upgrade, awesome. All right, the giant sword I believe cannot be. Uh, Matt cannot equip it, so we'll be giving that to Luke. Which means the Dragon Sword's going to Mark, and yeah, the Dragon Sword's going to be the uh, going into the uh, to be sold pile. So there we go. And just to show you what we're sitting at as far as our stats go since the level up at least. And uh, there we go. All right, let's keep going. More treasure to be had, but this place makes you pay for it. <laughs> Well, third time's a charm. <laughs> three three red gargoyles and two of them got the fire two spell off before John could get the anti fire up. So yeah, that's that's a, that's from getting two of them on us. So yeah. Nope, nope, nope. too far. All right, let's use the last two cure two spells. There, and I guess we're. Uh, yeah, we want that anti-fire, so heal potions it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, as soon as I saw the fire tune up, I was like, eh, please just let us survive. <laughs> so we can heal up with whatever is needed, because, yeah. I have no, Ill no illusions of grandeur of being able to get, th without, get through here without uh, having to restock heals at least once. So, yeah. Tis the nature of, the, of this place. How many are we at? 74 already. Already gone through a quarter of them. All right. Bright side is, yeah, we are getting some decent experience out of this, well, other than the red gargoyles, but yeah. So, anyways, let's keep going. Another red hydra, and I believe you can fight in another fire elemental if you got get this chest from the left, but yeah, I might be mistaken on this one, but in any case, the quicker path is above it, so yeah, 4150 gold. Let's keep going. Two more. Hey, and finally, we get this guy, the Iguana. These guys, we could have run into all the way back at Provoca. The Iguanas, 92 HP, 36 attack, 12 defense, 28 magic defense. Nothing special about them, no weaknesses, no resistances, no special attacks or anything like that, but yeah, just consider them, um, comparing them to the Ogre, you know, just under the amount, same amount of HP, and they do about the same amount of damage, so yeah. But uh, yeah, so let's, uh, what's better, going after the Iguanas or going after the Giants? Giants more than double the strength, so let's do this. Take the giant out first. If we can't take it out in one round, let's find out. <laughs> Come on, Mark. Ah, no crits. Lived for another round. You know, let's... Uh, I wasn't really keeping track. Hopefully that was enough to put it in... Uh, Critical zone. Oh, that didn't help from John. Hey, we got a crit out of that one though. Nice. Alright, let's you know what? Let's do that. You guys take out the fresh one and Mark and John see if they can finish that one off. Alright, John. Good job. 
And Luke with a huge hit and a crit. Alright, we finally got the iguana out of the, uh, under our belts. Uh, yeah, let's heal up. Uh, that's all I needed. Alright, let's keep going. Believe it or not, another couple of fire elementals there. Fixed encounter, and yeah. They managed to get a hit in on John even with the ruse up, but, uh, yeah. Still worth casting. They only hit once, so yeah. Chances of them connecting are pretty uh, slim once the ruse goes up, because that is quite a quite effective spell. And is one of the big reasons why a solo white mage run is actually not as difficult as it sounds. So yeah. But anyways. I've never done it done a complete run myself, but uh what I hear it's probably one of the quote unquote easier of the uh maybe not easier, but just a lot less difficult than you'd think it is. But anyways. Uh how are we in the levels now? We're still a ways away. Alright. This chest we get seven hundred and fifty gold and seven hundred and ninety-five. Alright. Now for the last batch, before we leave this place. Now there is a fixed encounter. Yeesh, I think Mark's had enough of this place too. He just critted a red hydra for 193, but anyways. Alright, so the fixed encounter is right in front of me. You can go around it, but eh. We're going to be heading out soon anyway, so I might as well take it on. Why not? Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Alright, because we are still trying to get some levels out of here, so yeah, alright. So here we go, we got Silver Gauntlet, Silver Helmet, and I think I cut myself off of using uh, John's level 1 spells uh, right at the right time, because I've got one Ruse spell left, and I believe there's one more fixed encounter to go, that we got to deal with here. So we got a Heal Potion there to help replenish your stock somewhat. We've got a Cabin, and 1975 Gold, and actually, I may not need the Ruse, but yeah, here we go. Because this is the Grey Worm. Grey Worm has 280 HP with 100 attack, 31 defense, 72 magic defense, so they are stronger than the uh, uh, Fire Elementals, but I've only ever run into one in this specific uh, encounter here, this fixed encounter. Um, I don't know if you can run into more, but for sure, but uh, yeah. So yeah, uh, weak to ice, resistant to fire and earth, and Resources that I've had access to for, well, even in the, I believe even in, uh, it's even mentioned in the actual, you know, the best area that shipped with the game itself, the, you know, the, uh, in the box, the Final Fantasy box. But apparently these things can use the Quake spell. It's an instant death earth attack. I personally have never seen it before, but I am not going to take it, well, I'm always going to have my th uh, my uh, um, my heart in my throat every time I face this thing because I know that. I'm not sure if it actually does use it or not because I've never seen it. But yeah, it's just one of those things where I am uh, a bit ner bit more nervous than one would think after having not, not running into it, but uh, having an understanding that it does use it. So yeah, because it is instant death. So here we go. Hopefully we can take it out. Without too much harm. Ooh, that was a nice hit from Jim Mark there. And we finished it off in one round, thanks to Mark's critical hits there. I think he might have gotten two out of there, but there we go. We took it out. Alright, got 1455 gold. Pure, spe uh, pure spell. Pure potion. 1520 gold. Alright. A couple more giants and a iguana there. 1760 gold. Three silver axe and a silver shield. And all right, let's take a look at the silver axe. It is stronger than the dragon sword as far as damage goes, but as you can see, its uh, hit percentage is not where we need it to be. But I'm, we're close enough. Well, if, as soon as Mark reaches level 16, he will be able to do three hits with a with the silver axe. So let's hold on to it uh, for that reason. All right, uh, yeah, let's heal up. All right. Got everything here, right? All right, good. And one last treasure chest. Contains a heal potion. Nice. Very grateful to get those things. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna fight the fire elemental again, and then we'll uh, start making our way out. All right, and that battle 
drained our last Ice 2 spell and uh, John's last Ruse spell there, so it's time to head out. Go. Let's see if we can make it out. <laughs> Aren't gargoyles supposed to be like uh, uh, guardians of place, like uh, guardians of places kind of thing? So I guess you could say, uh, "Don't mind us, gargoyles. We're uh, we're getting out of here. Don't uh, you don't need to worry about us anymore." <laughs> Let's just uh, not tempt fate, shall we? <laughs> Anyways, let's get out of here. I'm almost there. Oh, and the game had to throw two more, two last red gargoyles at us before we got out. Fortunately, we got out of that one relatively unscathed, so yeah, no fire two spells that time. We did not get the jump on them, so yeah, we were definitely, uh, we were, <laughs> we achieved some amount of grace in that one, but anyways, all right, we made it. Our HP is not nearly as bad as I thought it was, but uh, then again, we got half our stock of heals that we had before we got in there. So yeah, let's rest up. Uh, do we want to use a cabin? And now, well, let's use one just to, there. All right, cool. We don't have to use a tent. Awesome. All right, so we're already up to 37,000 gold. Yeah, so it's a rough shot going through there the first time, um, but you do get a lot of experience, do get a lot of gold, a lot of treasure, uh, but yeah, it's still definitely a, uh, it's a slog, <laughs> I guess you could say, but as far as the difficulty goes, but we survived, and yeah, so I guess we're out of time for this episode, so between now and next, next episode, I think I'll head back to uh, uh, Crescent Lake on my own uh, to restock on, uh, obviously not tents because they don't sell them there, but I'll restock on piers up to 20. I'll get my heals back up to 99 because, again, they just just looking at seeing how much damage this place does to us and the fact that we got damage floors, so yeah, which as you can probably guess from the amount of damage we're, we were taking in. Um, yeah, sometimes walking on those hot, those hot floors is probably the better way to go, so yeah. Yeah, basically how I go through this place, I just take the, the path, uh, the quickest path, uh, while using as much lava as I can, uh, and then, uh, you know, facing whatever fights we can so that we get a nice balance of experience and gold, along with, uh, being able to, so, and preserving our stock of items, so, yeah. Alright, so yeah, next time, between now and next time, I'll go back to town, restock on heal potions and pure potions, and I'll, uh, unless I think of something else, I'll probably leak it, meet you right back here. And again, if I think of anything important, uh, you know, before or while I'm making the trek back, then I'll, I might actually leave that in next time. But for the most part, I'm, uh, I'll, well, if everything goes smoothly, I'll just meet you right back here. And then we can head back into the Gurgu Volcano and see what happens when we go deeper. This is Intrepid83 signing off. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like on your way out. It really helps support the series and the channel here. And it definitely gives me a bit of a, <laughs> Uh, it cheers me on to keep uh, to give me the uh, what's the uh, what's the word the uh, the motivation to go through here and the positivity and all that fun stuff to be able to get through here. But anyways, positivity doesn't mean much when it's RNG. But you know, yeah, you can always uh, good vibes can always uh, help out. But anyways, so yeah, uh, yeah. If you and if you have not subscribed yet, why not head on over to the channel, see if there's anything there that can potentially earn your subscription. And if you have subscribed, or if you do subscribe, thank you very much for subscribing, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. But in any case, and until next time, thank you all so very much for watching. Thank you for spending some of your time here today, this morning, whatever time it is for you around the globe. Take care, be blessed, and have a good one.